Hi guys, this is Shivaridi. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain how to work with the user dependent objects for the hash map. In the previous session, I explained by taking a basic example of map containing key as an integer data type and value as a string. In this session, I will explain uh, how to work with the user dependent objects. In, a man, in order to demonstrate this example, I am going to use the employee as a my one class. So I already created a class. In this class, I have two properties that is private int employee ID and private string employee name. And also I have a uh, created a constructor to initialize these two member variables. I also generated setter and getter method for these two properties. At the end, I I written a small uh, display method to print employee ID and employee name. Now I am going to use this class and uh, I will explain uh, how to implement this uh, class in the hash map. So in order to add the um, values to the hash map, we need to create an object employee objects. So employee emp1 equal to new employee here I am giving a value as a one not one and uh, shivarity okay and uh, like that I am going to create a few more uh, employee objects and just to copy paste it two three and four here I am going to rename this variable to employee two employee three and employee four here also I am going to change the employee ID to 2, 3 and uh, 4. Employee name I am adding like a Shivari D1, Shivari D2, Shivari D3 and uh, 4. Now I have created 4 employee objects. Now I am going to add this uh, employee object to the hash map. How to add that? So in order to add the uh, object to the hash map we have a put method where put having uh, going to take the key so key I am considering as a um, uh, employee ID I am giving as a key and a value I am going to give EMP one as a object itself so so put employee dot get employee ID and then EMP one so like that I am going to add four methods it is giving some warning what it is saying so integer string sorry here I am going to use user defined class so I need to implement employee here okay now I have added four object to the ash map and uh, employee ID I am taking as a uh, key sorry it is emp3 and emp4 and I am going to adding the employee object 2 3 and 4 now I added 4 employee object to the hash map now I need to iterate this uh, map and uh, display the uh, employee object details so how I can do that first of all we need to get the entry set from the map how I can get get entry set so it is going to return set of map dot entry objects so set of map dot entry mm. this is a integer and the value is going to be the employee class type type and uh, I am giving name as a entry entries let us consider okay now I have um, created the entry set now I need to traverse through this uh, entry set to uh, display the employee objects so map dot entry entry here integer and uh, value as 
employee and uh, I am giving this one as a EMP and entries okay now for now what I am doing is for each uh, field we will get EMP dot get key so it is going to fetch the whatever the key we inserted in the hash map it is going to fetch the employee first record of the get employee id and next one what it is uh, taking is emp dot get value so get value actually uh, it returns the employee object so i am going to uh, assign this to employee e equal employee otherwise employee equal to emp dot get value it is going to return the employee object so employee object has the method display so I am going to write that's all pretty much we done so let us go ahead and run this program and see the output if I run this program you will see employee ID key value is the 101 is the key and this is an object and 2 is an key and uh, next one is an corresponding object so this is how uh, the hash map works so let us uh, iterate once again what is the hash map the first thing is hash map uh, contains key and value uh, relationship it is going to maintain the key versus value in your project if you have any requ requirement where one key is pointing to the object or the list of object the best suitable option is hash map and second one is it is uh, it is uh, it is also allows one null key and multiple null values third one is whenever we are going to add uh, object to the uh, object to the uh, hash map if, if it has same key and different values then the latest value is going to be override by the override the old value and next one is it is non-synchronized that means if you are working with the uh, multi-threaded environment then where uh, multiple threads are trying to access the hash map then it won't work so in order to achieve the multi um, in order to achieve the synchronized we need to explicitly handle the synchronized met, uh, synchronization uh, mechanism or we need to go for the hash table so that is the another uh, another uh, important property of the hash map so and also uh, i have explained the only one way by using the entry set uh, to iterate but there is a another uh, another way you can uh, iterate through the hash map another one is you can have a set where it is going to return the integers because set is nothing but the keys right otherwise I will explain this way so keys equal to hash otherwise I can use actually a uh, iterators using the iterators also I can iterate through the collection where it has the integer and I am going to create a iterator equal to hash map dot get sorry hash map dot entry entry not entry set but we have a another method which is key set dot iterator so first what I am doing is using the hash map I am getting the key set and using the key set I am doing I am preparing the iterator so by using this iterator now we can we can do using the while loop so iterator dot has next and uh, what I am doing is uh, system dot out dot println iterator otherwise one second so iterator now contains the all the keys so for the each key now we are iterating and we will try to get the object so in order to get the object what we need to do is hash map 
hashmap dot get and here we are going to pass the key key is nothing but iterator dot next sorry iterator dot next okay now this is going to return the employee object employee emp equal to hashmap dot get now employee has the display method so emp dot display so this is the another way how we can iterate through the hash map. So let us go ahead and run this program and see the output. You will see employee ID 1 and Shiva ID 1. So it is going to uh, 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 display the employee objects. So this is the another way how we can uh, iterate through the hash map. So hope this concept is clear. So if you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. In the next uh, session, I will explain what is the hash table and uh, when to use this uh, uh, hash table concept. Okay. Thanks for watching.